Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Book Club Adventures. In the last episode, we defeated the mysterious assassin of the 14 Thieves and found Maladin. And he led us to the curse of the Egyptian, or he led us to the Tomb of the Angels. And in this episode, we are going to go into the tomb, into Chapter 3, Tomb of the Ancients. Abandoned by Maladin, Lex stumbles through a curse of Egyptian tomb. What's up? Okay. And so the young knight entered the first tomb alone, fooled by Maladin's devious schemes. My storytelling voice again. I'm not alone. Maladin is right behind me. Right, Maladin? Um. Uh, hello? But Maladin had already closed the door when we left the of a thousand year old beings roused from their slumber. Nice place, taste of the corner. Giant scorpion! Well, that's beautiful. So, uh, hold on just a second. Get something. Okay, sorry, I was eating a peanut. Um, so not good. Start to notice your attacks doing a lot of damage. By the way, for almost every chapter, basically every chapter from here on is going to have five enemies. Five, 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 five. Okay. Um. Oh, 
Well, yeah, you're probably wondering why I've, I have turned the sound down for this. Is <sighs> because the Pharaoh of old, I hate the sound that he makes when, like, he, he makes his movement and, like, you know how everyone makes, like, the noise when you first see them? I hate the noise that guy's make. I hate the noise that guy makes. That's why I, um, I turned it down. Okay. Oh, as Pharaoh, I have magical powers! No, you don't. Forgive me, I'm a little rusty. for color words. Okay. Exiting the mouth of the tomb, a mysterious wind took the night over the hot dunes to the place where a still figure waited. And but first let's be the word master. Okay. S bar. Damn it! Stags. 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 God damn it, swags. No! Slags. Oh my god, it was snags. What the hell? Ah! God damn it, that, that sucked. Well, let's go to chapter 4 Riddle of the Sphinx. Making good with the Pharaoh's ghost. Yep, spaces. Yep, it lacks spaces in another barrier. The Riddles of the Sphinx. <laughs> Before him was the Sphinx's challenge of the riddles. To each riddle, he had to find the answers quickly in succession, lest he fail and be consumed by the sands of the desert. Wait, there will be dessert? Like chocolate fudge brownie tiles? The brave knight jested, but no one laughed. The Sphinx calmly uttered its first riddle. So yes. The Sphinx! We just gotta solve the Sphinx's riddles. You gotta solve his riddles. Sometimes blue, sometimes weeping, sometimes twinkle, sometimes demon. Never indoors, but yet the ceiling. What am I? You are the sky. Bam! And solving the riddle instantly downs its health, but he regenerates four times. So you gotta solve all five riddles. I face my brother, he faces me. At our sides, two more I see. Together, we make room for thee. What am I? You are a wall. 
I'm a little biased because I've played this game before, so I know all the riddles. Anyway, made of ten, but two are we. Five apart, and we are weak. Five together, have a creep. What am I? You are the... I don't have it. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. This is Davis. This is... Despised I am by name and liar. After me, the wise inquire. I rise above all death and fire. What am I? You are Paul Pierce's nickname, The Truth. BAM! Shapeless I take shape, unguarded I escape, death in excess, death without slave. What am I? BAM! You're dead! Level up! Level 14, Librarian. New treasure! The Sphinx Lantern boosts effective healing potions. Well done, Worm Hero. I am Sinbad. I was watching your brave deeds. Will you join my crew? Well, actually, I'm looking for this treasure and this girl, and there are these adult monsters, and, you know, that sounds like a yes to adventure. All aboard! Oh my god. And now we have to go on some adventure. Sinbad and the young knight took to see you, where they were soon beset by pirates. Damn pirates. Okay, chapter 5, Darby Pirates. Let's sail aboard Sinbad's ship only to be boarded by a crew of angry pirates. What I want to know is what are they so mad about? Wait, does this have any. Does this level have any power down or petrify at all? Welcome aboard my ship. Wait, who are all these people with swords and cannons and eye patches? Yar, there be pirates. Oh no, not again. <clears throat> oh no, not again. Arf. Okay. Okay. It's not exilhurry, it's exhilary. God damn it. Shut up, a vast. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, both those those both both of those pauses were because my mom were inter was interrupting me. <clears throat> okay, okay, and this bleed starting to hurt me very badly. Oh my god. Holy crap, I'm just gonna go away from making exhilaration. Oh my god! Exhilaration. Astonishing indeed! Obliterated! <laughs> oh hell yeah! Duck swallow. <gasps> Oh no, no. Yes. 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 
You did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, you must eat like like 50 hamburgers a day. Like totally. Okay. Wash buckler. Okay. Bam! Wow. And now we go to the boss, Dread Pirate Albert. Okay. And they don't have boss in parentheses here because they can't fit it. <laughs> Yes! That was a little too close for comfort. Oh my god. 
New treasure wouldn't pair it. All our tiles cause double damage. Get it? All our tiles. <laughs> the pirates are defeated, but the ship is out of control and sinking. Why does this always happen? Wait, what? It does? Why did I set sail with you in the first place? Good question. Watch the shore the travelers were to a strange island where the very ground trembled. And camera badness. Yes, I just said camera badness. Okay, let's move this down. And we've got to turn this a little to that way. And... Bam. Well, that's that. Next time on Book well, we're at, and since we're at 22 minutes, I'll call it. Next time on Bookworm Adventures, we'll be heading into Chapter 6, Island of Immensity, because those damn pirates. <laughs> well, see you guys next time.